In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export an artboard. So in Illustrator, you have artboards. You might have one, which is just the basic artboard that you start your document with, or you might have multiple, and you can export multiple artboards or just artboards individually. Now, in this case, this is a thumbnail from my main channel, and I actually have elements that go outside the artboard and that sit outside the artboard, which is very common. Now, you can export or save this as an image file without all those extra elements. One way to do it is to go up to File, down to Export, and we can just go to Export As. When we go to Export As, we get the sort of Save dialog box on Windows and Mac, and we can choose the format. So for instance, if I wanted to export a JPEG image, I could select JPEG. Now right underneath this, we want to select Use Artboards. And from there, we can select to uh, export all the artboards or a range of artboards, which can be just a single artboard. So in this case, I could say I'm going to export just one or artboard number one. So your artboards are numbered in Illustrator, and this indicates which artboard you export. If I don't select Use Artboards, it's going to export a JPEG of the entire canvas, every single element in Illustrator in this document. But if I check Use Artboards, it'll just export the size of my artboard. So we can hit export on that, and then it's going to, you know, for me, it's going to replace the thumbnail I had already exported, which is fine. And then inside of the JPEG options, if you export as a JPEG, you can choose the quality, color mode, and a few other settings. If you do resolution of 72 pixels per inch, that will come out as kind of the standard digital size. So if you just sized it by, for instance, this is 1920 by 1080 pixels, the actual image will come out as 1920 by 1080. Now, if you're doing it for print, you might want to do like 300 PPI. But then that's how you can just export an image that basically crops off anything outside of the artboard. You can also use the, if we go back to export, we can use export for screens, which gives us a little different look of an export. And we can choose assets to export, which we can drag into the export panel but we're looking at artboards, so we can choose artboards in this tab here, and it will show us all the artboards, and it shows us that it cuts off the edges, so you don't see the entire canvas, just the artboard. And over here on the right, we have a lot of different options, like we can include a bleed or not. Uh, we can export the full document, or, you know, this looks familiar again, right? The range, exporting specific artboards. And then we have the file location we're going to export to. And we have a lot of different options. We can add suffixes. We can open the location after export, add different scales. So if you want to export in the 1x scale or like 2x, 3x, you can change that here. You can export different formats at the same time. Some people might prefer to use export for screens, but they can export a lot of different files at the same time. I like to use export as. I just want to save down a quick JPEG or something like that. But either way, it works. And in here, you can actually check mark different artboards and really visually see them as opposed to just kind of saving with that regular save dialog box. But this basically does the same. And that's how you can export artboards here in Illustrator.